Pre Decimal Penny, 1937. George V Halfpenny. Late pre-decimal halfpenny, the ship on. It's George the Fifth Penny. Ah. Very nice. George the Fifth Shilling. From 1920. In great condition as well. Marvellous. Modern Threepenny Bit, 1944. George V Penny. Threepenny Bit. I think there was something else in there though. That's another threepenny bit. <laughs> Two in the same hole. George V Penny. What the heck's that? That's a modern two shillings, no silver in that one. <laughs> it's uh, George the Fifth Florin. It's nice. 1922. Another bit of silver. Uh, it's a florin again, more modern one, two shillings. Uh, and that's a George the Sixth. Not as nice as the George V, but has a silver content nonetheless. Very nice. George V half penny. I've hardly got anything on this old penny. It is... I think it's too warm to find out what the heck it is. It doesn't look mega old. I think it's a young Victoria penny. So that's mid-1800s. Yeah, it's 1800. By God, that took some finding. Took a huge hole for that tiny little modern half pence. Yeah, that's a George the George the sixth father, I think. Yeah, father. It's all crusty, but it should have a wren on that side. And you can see the wren on the back this time. 1942 father. Those who don't know, a father is or was a quarter of one pence. To George the fifth penny. Ah. Very nice, more silver. Uh, to George the sixth sixpence from nineteen thirty eight. Big center fire casing. Two. Two, four, three, I think it says. Don't know. I wouldn't like to be on the receiving end of that anyway. 
Aha! Silver. And it's... Oh, God, it's in good condition. It's a 1943 shilling. That's George the Sixth. Good nick. This is rapidly turning into a coin apocalypse. Uh, it's not a coin. It's not a coin at all. And it looks like the first proper ring that I've found. You can only imagine that it's silver. Very good. More silver. Yep. Nineteen thirty-eight sixpence. George the sixth. Great condition again. Happy days.